Wolf's disease is caused by a bacterium called Trophorema ripley, and it was formerly known as intestinal lipodystrophy, and it was first described by George Whipple in 1907. The disease is very rare and typically affects Caucasian males a lot more frequently than females with a ratio of between 8 and 10 males to 1 female. The most frequently affected site is the small bowel, although it can occur in other sites such as the colon and appendix in the gastrointestinal tract. And outside the gastrointestinal tract, it can involve the CNS, joints, lymph nodes, heart, eyes, adrenal glands, etc. Symptoms of Whipple's disease can be very varied and confusing, producing a bit of a diagnostic nightmare. Symptoms from gastrointestinal involvement include weight loss, malabsorption and abdominal pain. Other symptoms may include enlarged lymph nodes, migratory large joint arthropathy, neuropsychiatric symptoms that can over time result in dementia and this is associated with a very poor prognosis. When small bowel is affected by Whipple's disease, the mucosa has a rather thick and shaggy friable appearance with yellow and white plaques surrounded by areas of erythema. This is a contrast x-ray of Whipple's disease showing thickened mucosal folds. And the corresponding histology is that of distended and blunted villi containing foamy histiocytes that infiltrate the lamina propria and submucosa. And the lamina propria may contain foci of fat, and this has the appearance of round empty spaces. There are also dilated lacteals in the villi, and the enterocytes may be vacuolated. A useful special stain is the PAS that demonstrates the bacilli that are PAS positive, producing a nice magenta colour. Inflammation is usually minimal, but there may be variable numbers of neutrophil polymorphs present. This is a low power view of a small bowel biopsy of Whipple's disease, and the villi are distended and blunted by the infiltrate of foamy histiocytes. And here is a higher power view of the foamy histiocyte infiltrate in the lamina propria. And this empty space is the result of a deposit of fat being dissolved out during processing. And the presence of fat in the bowel explains why George Whipple originally called the disease intestinal lipodystrophy. In this part of the biopsy, as well as homohistocytes in the lamina propria, you can see that the enterocytes, these are the cells that surround the villi, are in areas vacuolated. And this biopsy from Whipple's disease affecting the small bowel has been stained with PAS, showing nice magenta staining of the bacteria. With electron microscopy, the rod-shaped organisms are seen in macrophages or histiocytes, and the organisms may also be present in phagocytic vacuoles. And here are a couple of electron micrographs showing the rod-shaped bacteria in the histocyte. 